Uh, welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, today's a little bit different. Uh, of course, I'm Luchador Louie, uh, and our new co-host. Yaha! Yaha! Uh, uh, he's our new co-host. Uh, his name is, uh, Jihad Jimmy or, uh, Insurgent Ian. Um, we had to do some, a few changes, a few change-ups, um, and uh, because of the recent refugee crisis, uh, he is our, our new uh, co-host. So welcome to the show. Welcome to tonight's show, uh, everybody. Uh, of course, we got Jihad Jimmy here. I'm Luchador Louie. I got to tell you, I don't know if Jihad Jimmy agrees with me, but uh, tonight's episode wasn't so great. Jihad Jimmy, you son of a bitch. I'm co host. Ah! Who the shit is this guy? America, fuck yeah. Man, it's it's good to see you back. It's good to be back there, Luchador Louie. Dude, I was stuck watching the show with uh, Jihad Jimmy. Oh my god! I didn't understand the fu- a fucking thing the guy said. I offer- I offered him a beer. He doesn't drink. Do you and me, Allah ain't nothing but mammals. So let's <laughs> do it like the two on the Discovery Channel. Oh, Allah oh, Akbar. Yeah. Good Allah. Good Allah. Allah Akbar. The Ooh. Prophet Muhammad has nothing on Luchador Louie. No. I've never seen. No. I've never seen the Prophet Muhammad pull off a tornado DDT. But because of, because of, of that, pro- because of that prophecy, came, when the WWE wanted to hire Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, to wrestle in their company, because he had prophesied that Luchador Louis would kick the shit out of him in a championship match, and he was That's a champion. Right. It was already halfway the prophecy done. Muhammad did go on to do a lot of things, as now his new wrestling name called The Miz. So I can't forget the Prophet Muhammad gimmick that he had for the last thousand years, you know, in the whole Muslim faith. Yeah, he had a lot of fans. He, he didn't have fans. a lot of fans. Monday Night uh, Raw, I don't Jericho know. Jericho is raw. Monday oh, Night Jericho. Jericho is back with the highlight reel again. Yes. Beautiful. So apparently, Jericho destroyed Ambrose. Ambrose is no more. He couldn't make it. And uh, we're Mitch left with Mitch the Plant. Mitch the Plant, who is more entertaining than Dean Ambrose. You can get 12 bucks for that plant. Shit, yeah. What are you going to get for Dean Ambrose? After he code-breaked him last week, we all drank in Jericho's greatness. Drink it in, baby. Then we were rudely interrupted by that big fucking cum dumpster Kaz. Get rid of him, because he's terrible on the mic. All, all, you got, all you got is seven feet tall Talking about this new shit. era. A new era where we don't talk. We just settle our differences in the ring. Yeah. We don't talk. Shut the. F- of course you don't. Let's talk watch out. What, let's talk. watch what we say. We could be offensive. Yeah, we don't want to punch people in the feelings. Yeah, it hurts. What about a forearm to the feelings? Mm. Is there a law against that? Probably Ouch. big Kaz would be offended. I'm triggered. I'm triggered right now. Just like it's yeah. the triggering. Hashtag the triggering right now. Anyways, yeah, big ass comes out to disrespect Jericho. Cheap shots him. Oh. Right yeah. after Jericho, Jericho was the bigger man. Walked away. Was bigger walking man, away. Set a good example. And then this piece of shit. Knowing that it couldn't get any further. Kicks him in the face. Fuck off, Kaz. We didn't need that. We didn't no. need that. Cheap shot. Cheap shot. And, uh, yeah. That, that was the beginning of Raw. And I gotta say. I gotta say. I was excited. I was, I was excited because I'm was, like, uh, you know what? I want to see Chris Jericho. Jericho starting at main oh, event. Wow, Chris Jericho. Destroyed. He's not. He's not mid carding anymore. He's the main event. I'm yep. excited. And then we got our first match, which was a snooze fest. Oh, it was a big me. bore. We had Dolph Ziggler jobbing for the I don't know fifteenth time to Baron Corbin. Wait, who likes but this guy? Who Baron Corbin out there? 
What you look like you just eat Cheetos. No, you're not, no, Jack. I, you're not big enough to be a big guy. You're no, not I, small enough to be a high Your flyer. hair is going right now. You got a receding hairline. Shave it off, dummy. Eric Corbin with a fucking stupid tattoo on his chest. Give what me the, the belt. Is that? He wouldn't even be feuding with the Prophet Muhammad anyway. Anymore. Because the Prophet Muhammad is now after the Intercontinental title as we all know him as Miz. I got a hold of uh, some pictures of the Prophet Muhammad that. Uh, oh, I'm, oh, yeah. You're allowed to, to oh, have pictures of the Prophet Muhammad. I have pictures. No. You betcha. Way. You betcha. Are we going to show pictures of the Prophet Muhammad on our show? Stay tuned, folks. Wow. Stay tuned. You could see pictures of the Prophet Muhammad. That's what a few hard men is all about. We're controversial and we're coming at you. And we're coming hard and hard. fast. So WWE is uh, just putting Baron Corbin over, but put Necro Butcher in. Yeah, put exactly. Ne- sign put Necro ne- Butcher. Exactly. I'm glad we're I'm glad we're done with that conversation. Charlotte asked Shane to let Rick stay at a ringside at the next upcoming pay per view. What Shane do? This fucking hammered drunk. On power, he's idiot. drunk What's with he power. Do? He's a goddamn tyrant. Both of them, Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon, are goddamn tyrants. I like Steph, but after this crap, I don't know. Goddamn this tyrants, is, this is bullshit. Who does this shit? They just replaced Triple H with Shane McMahon, guys. That's all they did. They replaced Triple H with Shane McMahon. Nothing is new. There's no new generation, unless you want to call this the new NXT. Because that's what we're watching right I, now. I, next, then we had that AJ fucking Styles and his stupid fucking club buddies interviewed the by club. some... The club! The babysitter's club? Oh, yeah, club? babysitter's club. No, the fucking bear club. The bear club! club. Where did I see those guys before? Kenny versus Spenny, remember? Kenny versus Spenny. When he hired those biker-looking S&M gay dudes with the beards, man. Always used to take that Kenny versus Spenny show too far. Remember when you call, did when we watched that episode and you did the same thing on, on Camera Guy Allen? <laughs> Just, Camera Guy Allen didn't know what to do. Nope. Didn't know what hit him. Just See, that's why they have warnings of don't try this at home. So, Camera Guy Allen, how's it going? You playing Tetris today? Right? Or what's up? Um, crazy kitchen. Uh, crazy, yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy kitchen. Crazy kitchen. He has not been the same. <laughs> He's not, not been the same, same since He's... that incident. <laughs> oh, we miss you, camera guy, Alan. Glad we you're miss back. you. Glad you're back. <laughs> uh, what was the next match? I think it was Goldust, wasn't it? Well, yeah. uh, our truth and Fandango. Right. Goldust came, out, Goldust Fandango. came, came out though. That he was did pretty out. good. I was pretty pumped to see Gold Dust always rocking it in the gold. They didn't show his entrance on Raw. It pissed me off because he has the best entrance in Raw. It's all his, about showmanship, people. His entrance gives me the same goosebumps that Chainsaw Charlie, a.k.a. Terry Funk's entrance, gave me when he came out with to help out his old pal. He knows what I'm talking about. He saw it through the ring with mm-hmm. goddamn Chainsaw. Who won the R-Truth match, by the way? Was it R-Truth? It was R-Truth. It was our truth. I have a feeling they're going to get back together. They're going to get back together. This is big news. They're going to get back together, and then Fandango and uh, Tyler Breeze are going to hook up. They are definitely. And they're going to be the new tag team in town. Oh, yeah. But that's. And they are going to be hotter than the hot love that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn share backstage. Disgusting. Up next, we have that Sami Zayn where he said it was in the new era, and it's about what people want. But oh people, yeah, let's give them what they Sammy want. Sammy Zane, people want you fired. You fucking suck. Please. El Generico. You've been beaten by Kevin Owens. Move Say on. goodbye to the Intercontinental Championship. We don't need this to keep going. No. We need you to move on. Do other things. As always, our sponsor, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. If you ain't cope, you ain't dope. Skulls for bags. How's uh how's the game going? Good. Camera guy Allen, like we said, still traumatized. Not, still traumatized. I should have given them given them a safe word. It was. It was Chewy Tuesdays. Anyways, uh Charlotte versus Paige is our next match, man. Oh yeah, Charlotte's versus that AIDS whore. Charlotte versus, versus track Paige. marks. <laughs> Pale as shit. Goddamn, would it kill you to get a tan? Whoa, 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 whoa. Please watch what you're saying about Camera Guy Allen's ex girl. Oh. And before, actually, well, this is like halfway through the career of Camera Guy Allen, because everybody knows he was a famous camera guy he on was. the Dr. Phil show. <laughs> <a long time. laughs> 
camera guy Allen and Paige met at a methadone clinic. Oh, you see, right. ca- camera guy Allen was trying to go straight, and Paige obviously was, uh, she just wanted free drugs on top of the drugs she was taking. Yeah. But anyway, they met there, and this Paige chick wanted a free ride from camera guy Allen. <laughs> and she got it all the way to WWE. And you know what? That's why it grinds me when I see she's up there doing, you know, mid carding shit. Bitch, you shouldn't even be on TV. She just rode. Off camera guy Alan success. She also rode on camera guy Alan. She told me why her name was why she went with Paige, by the way. Why is because, that? Because she's from the back pages. Just shorten yep. it up. They went from back page. She was like, let's just shorten it up. I don't want to be associated as a whore anymore. That's why her matches are usually under 20 minutes, because she has a 20-minute special. <laughs> but anyway, uh, A-Tour did win uh, because Shane came, interrupted the match. Oh, Shane. Get out, Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Bullshit. In. Rick Flair was coming out to watch. What uh, are Rick Flair, you can't go come into the Rick match, Flair comes but out I'm going to gonna watch, come into the match. And Shane comes out to oh, interfere. Come out, Rick Flair. No, no give nah. me a break. Give me a break, Shane McMahon. Man, you're, you're coming Bullshit. out to, to help that back page horror. Moving uh, on, though. Moving on. Sami Zayn versus The Miz. And the uh, the whole thing. Oh, yeah. D-U-M-B-C-U-N-T. Sami Zayn. If Sami Zayn wins for some strange reason, if Sami Zayn wins, he gets to go in the Fatal 4-Way match. Let's just push Sami Zayn more. Let him, let him win the match. Uh, oh, but, yeah. but but Sami Zayn used the Michinoku driver. But Sami Zayn used, and usually I'm a fan of the Michinoku driver, made famous by the great Taka Michinoku. But why does Sami Zayn do the, ta- the the Michinoku driver after last week? Emma pulls off the Michinoku driver and wins with it, and this week Sami Zayn pulls off the it tries to pull off the Michinoku driver and miserably fails. You're just making the move look like a pussy move. And then what do they do right afterwards? They show the match with Emma using the Michinoku driver, as in to rub it in the face a little bit more. God, exactly. give me a break. Give me a break. It's supposed to be a finishing move. It's exactly. supposed to be a finishing move. Next match. Next match, we got Rusev versus Sin Cara. Sin Cara, Sin Cara wins. Gay, kind of you know, it's kind of unpredictable, though. I kind of thought Rusev was going to destroy Sin Cara. But, man, I really like Rusev and Lana. I like this group. I like these, this duo. Uh, Rusev looks, you know, he's got the brute written down. He, he looks like a brute. You look at him and you he think does. brute. He does. You know, he's going to mop the floor, but instead, uh, Sin Cara got the up. Not a fan of the brute's tramp stamp tattoo that goes up his back. It's not tramp stamp. Next match, the Usos and Roman Reigns, uh, Boar Fest, uh, versus the Bear oh Club. Oh my God, the Bear Club. The Bear Club. I don't know. A man had a BWO shirt, which was pretty that cool. Was cool. That was cool. I awesome. saw that. I don't know. He punched uh, the two guys, and then he had to real quick, AJ. I'm going to cock it up. Just give it a little bit more power. And uh, I don't know. The, the match, <laughs> I guess, was just m- mostly Roman Reigns uh, throwing <laughs> chairs. Roman Reigns did this. They didn't. They called the match. Nobody won. No, it Roman was a Reigns disqualification. Big, big whiny, sucky baby. Oh, he got hit with a chair, but at Extreme Rules, folks, it's gonna be legal. Yeah. Oh wow. Except it was Michael Cole saying it, so it was like, oh, yeah. we're gonna have uh, some chairs, and those are gonna be legal, guys. Remember that. Oh, uh, Michael Cole. Oh. The Michael Cole drops. has Down syndrome. Okay. You heard it here first. Next match, we got uh, Kevin Owens versus that Zack Ryder. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Next, yeah. next match, we got Zack Ryder versus Kevin Owens. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, Kevin Owens. Another won. stipulation, but there was another stipulation. If Zack Ryder wins, Kevin Owens no longer in the in the fatal four-way. Hasn't what? he beaten every Everybody number one contender? Uh, I was pretty pissed off they didn't give him any, any spot behind the mic. I still stand oh. aside. What I always say is that Kevin Owens wrestling is garbage. He Give him shares a my hate for Michael Cole, and I love that about you, Kevin. I Owens. do love that too. I was happy that he came over and reminded Michael Cole what kind of a cocksucking garbage fucking piece of shit. Waste he is. of space, Michael Cole. This is a challenge out to you. Anytime, anywhere. You can You come at us. We'll come at you, but we'll come at you harder. We have arrived. That was garbage. Uh, we're going to get to a... Uh, oh, the Bootios I, versus 3D. You know what, though? You know what, though? Good match. Because this was good. Uh, not only did we see Devon 
uh, with a sick clothesline. We also saw the VOD villains come in and, and mess up the bootios. What are you playing right now there, uh, camera guy, Alan? Crazy. Crazy kitchen. Crazy kitchen. Only women hang out in the kitchen. What do we got next? Main event. Main event. The one we've been waiting for. All night we've been. All this, it's you know been what? Such a was, shitty episode. We want to turn it off. We're like, no, the main no, event. The main event. The main event is coming. coming. Jericho versus this dumb coming, retard. Good. Come Guzzler. You know, I just want to see Jericho destroy him, and that's what that that has to happen. No other option. There can be no other option but Jericho wins. So we got big ass coming out. He's fucking lame as shit. He's seven foot tall, piece of garbage. Finally, we get. Chris Jericho coming out. He's breaking the walls down. Breaks the wall down. We, something happens. He goes down. Somebody else puts on his jacket. We all know right away. It's Dean Ambrose. What is this bag doing wearing that jacket? That's yeah. a nice jacket. It's got the lights and everything. And, and, D, D, and D, Dean Ambrose, Ambrose destroyed he, it. He looked like he was going to pawn it off for a second. And then he forgot whose it was. And then he's like, oh, is this my jacket? I hide my blow in my jacket. And started Where cutting it? it up looking I, for I his should... blow. Uh, he was and cutting it, up his it jacket. Wasn't there. And then there he's was like, wires. Oh, shit. There was wires instead. He's like, shit. Well, I, I usually keep my crystal meth in the other side. We're still waiting for this match to get underway, right? And it's yeah. not. Uh, it's not. Kaz it just... versus Jericho. Jericho was obviously ready for the match. Kaz, nobody knows what happened to that dumb cunt. There was no main event. It was just nothing. It was... Happy birthday, kid. You want a birthday cake? No. Take it away. No, you don't get it. Fuck you, Even kid. Though it's I don't your like birthday. You, bitch. Even though it's your birthday. Yeah. I told you I was going to get you a birthday cake. Uh, no. You know what I forgot? Um, tonight we were going to put up our Triple H interview. Oh, shit. We totally forgot about it, folks. We're out of time, actually. Um, sorry, a lot of that time was spent beating up Jihad Jimmy. Uh, we're going to try to get it to you uh, soon. It's just we, we, we went over our mark. Uh, we're, we're going to push Triple H to another episode. Yeah, but he will be here soon. Hi, I'm Michael Cole, and welcome to WWE.